3, 2, 1. Litecoin deserves the best of all mankind. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. The Litecoin challenge is one that we're willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone. And one we intend to win. What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, May 5th, 2018. It's Saturday, it's beautiful out. Enjoy life today. Before we get out there though, we're gonna look at Litecoin. Some things I'm excited about. Number one, this tweet yesterday, we were tracking on a smaller time frame. We don't always do that, but like it was four in the morning or something and I saw this, uh, I saw this inverse head and shoulders forming and this is the second tweet of that. This was around 11 a.m. yesterday and we saw it forming. We were looking to break 165. And when I tweeted this, we were around 161. And here we are, like a day later, and we're at 179. We've touched above 180. And I think that's like up 12% or so. So on the smaller time frame, we don't always do that. Obviously, we're, we're usually long, we usually look long, but it's fun to see that that happened. And it's fun to be in that 180 territory. Secondly, I'm very excited and I want to thank all of you for sticking through this continuation pattern with me because look at it on the screen. I couldn't be more happy with, I guess, the patience that we've had, the ups and downs that we've endured through this continuation pattern. You all know we've been watching this for so long. We've been anticipating dips and we have and we've done such a good job, in my opinion of anticipating these dips and buying those dips. It's pretty much why I started this channel probably in January or whenever it was. That's my style. Buy the dips, anticipate the dips, and that's what we've done. And you can just see it on the chart. Litecoin has loved these triangles and we've lived through another and we've gotten the breakout. Look at this breakout. It's on the weekly, it looks exactly at 80%. It's I think four or five days past 80%. We were looking at May 1st being the 80%. We got a breakout within that week. How awesome is that? Come on. I love it. I'm excited about it. But let's talk about a, a few things now. Now that we've gotten that, we've gotten that confirmed breakout. First things first, we almost had a breakout slightly before the May 1st, or like a week before. And we were watching it and we were looking for a retrace back to the top of the triangle for support and we didn't get it. We broke back down. We retested, you know, key support at 150. Um, but since then, we've broke, we've broken the top of the triangle again. And same thing, I say this and it doesn't mean it's going to happen, but this is me. Conservatively, I'd always look for a retrace back down to retest the top of the triangle. So in that possibly happening, and I'm not saying it's going to, I'm not even saying I think it's going to, but in it pos in that possibly happening, I just wanna let you know, we're also gonna be retesting and finding support, maybe in that 150, that 155 area. Also, the 50 and the 200 EMA are, are kind of cruising around down there at the top of the triangle. So a ton of support here if it does revisit. But I, I just want to throw caution out there, and I tweeted last night, not a bearish tweet, but be cautious of a revisit to top of continuation pattern. This would be in the 145 to 150 range. Uh, maybe I'm thinking more in the 150 to 155 range, and also would be a bounce off of 50 EMA. So anticipate always. It's just caution. You want to ca be cautious, especially after seeing nice a nice breakout through the triangle. Always be cautious of some type of pullback doesn't have to be the top of the triangle, but just be careful out there. So with that being said, I want to point something out. I highlighted something which I think is important to take note of, which is you can see really these, these triangles and these continuation patterns of these lower highs and these higher lows and then breakout that continued to happen lately uh, in this continued bull trend, they've gotten longer. 
So you can see this last one that we've really used a lot to illustrate and reflect the current continuation pattern we're in. But you see this last one around 75 days. But you see this, this most recent one, we're at around 150 plus days. So not only is it longer, but it also, the, the consolidation is stronger. It's taken more time and we've had to endure a little bit longer. So that means that I just, and this is just kind of my gut feeling. This is a feeling and this is kind of based off of the data that I personally have. Basically, we have the breakout through the top of the triangle. So not only have we seen a slower consolidation and a slower triangle, but I think as we, as we hopefully, now that we broke the top of the triangle, this means that the continued uptrend of Litecoin hopefully will continue and we, we start breaking previous highs, right? So since we have that confirmed and especially confirmed if we break the top of the triangle, and I know I'm talking a little bit here, but bear with me. I see that breaking previous highs might take a little longer as well. I know a lot of people are, are hoping and maybe even expecting just one awesome, insane green candle on the daily, just something like that. It could happen, but I just wanna put it out there that since we've had such a slower consolidation uh, and since this trend has kind of slowed down, breaking previous highs might be slow as well. However, there's a positive, there's a positive to that, which is to say, breaking these previous highs will be slower. However, they will be stronger. So when, when you have these, if you can, if you can come up with a bullish scenario and you have so many out there of a thousand dollars plus Litecoin by the end of the year, $1,500, that plays perfectly into that. This more slower consolidated growth through these previous highs and then upward towards that thousand mark. So it might require a little patience. I know a lot of you want to see like an $800 Litecoin by June, but if you can be patient right now, we are on a nice trajectory. And that's all I wanted to point out. I, that maybe took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but I wanted to explain myself. So that's kind of what I have for you today. Right now we're at around $179 on Litecoin and you can really see it on the, on the four hour, just a nice clear picture of what's happened. We broke the top of the triangle and all of you are awesome. We've, we've really got, we've gone through so many ups and downs. I mean, just look at the chaos on the screen up here all the way to down here, crazy gains, crazy losses. And I think we played it well. So I appreciate all of you and your support on this channel as we watched this continuation pattern, as we bought the dips, as we tracked the triangles. I'm loving it, but I think we're getting, you know, we're, we're getting really close to being able to say that this continued uptrend in Litecoin is, you know, confirmed and it's continued. And of course, since this happened right here, instead of breaking the downside, we broke the upside. I'm way more bullish. I've always been bullish, but definitely way more bullish in the short term as well. So let me know your thoughts below. I really appreciate all of you watching. I hope you enjoy your Saturday. Uh, it's beautiful out here on the East Coast. I hope you have a good weekend. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the channel. As always, I will see you in the next video and God bless.